Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, it's Tom over at Gas. Uh, today in the workshop I'm on with a BMW 335D with the M57 engine in. So this one got recovered into us, customers had a look at it and um, he's described it as exhaust gases coming up through the intake manifold uh, cylinder two he thinks. He's done a compression check um, and he's low on cylinder two. So we've had the vehicle in, um, inlet manifolds all off. So what I've done first is just turn the engine over by hand Obviously make sure nothing's catching. Uh, that all seems fine, turned over all right. Uh, whip the rocket box off. Just check the valves, see if I can see anything obvious in there. And everything looked all right, to be honest. I've um, got my little ball, scope camera. Uh, had a look at the intake valves. Couldn't really see too much wrong there. Um, like I say, because it got me covered into us, uh, what I've done next is I've just built the vehicle up. So I'll put the rocker box back on, intake, manifold, and just run it up. And um, I'll just try to put a video clip up now, but yeah, it, did, it didn't sound very good. So it was exhaust gases uh, coming back through into the intake uh, manifold. Like I say, this can happen if you get a valve not seat correctly or timing's out. But um, like I say, the timing was all right. I uh, couldn't see anything obvious on the intake valves. So, next step is really, um, what I've done is, I've done a leak down test on the cylinders. So I'll just show you the engine quick. So in the engine bay, uh, what we've done first off is a cylinder leak down test. So what this test does is it pushes compressed air into each cylinder. So we'll make sure that piston's at the top, uh, so all the valves are closed. And then we shouldn't see any compressed air leaking out. It should be, should be tight. So first off, we've done cylinder one. It has got quite a bit of uh, leak and that has been past the piston rings. Um, not our main issue, but definitely we've got an issue going on the bottom end. And I've moved on to cylinder two. As soon as I've put compressed air in, it's just blowing straight out of cylinder three. So not too sure what's going on there. Got a bit of a major issue. Same with three, it's coming back out of cylinder two. So whether we've got a head gasket in trouble, a crack cylinder head, blocks not level, not completely sure yet. And then I've carried on and done cylinders four, five, six. Um, all of them are quite down, uh, leaking past the piston rings by the looks of it. So I've got a bottom end slight issue, but our main concern is what's going on with cylinders two and three so the only way to find this out now is to remove the cylinder head but like i say it's always best to test everything before you strip the engine because you could be taking the cylinder head off not knowing exactly what we're looking out for i mean now we've narrowed it down to cylinders two and three um and also we've got a bit of an issue with the bottom end on some of the cylinders. So we'll whip the cylinder head off. We'll see the extent of damage between like say cylinders two and three. See what's going on there. And we'll see what the best plan of action is really. I'll see you up on the stand. I've got most of the components out. I didn't record it all. It's not really a 
how to video as such is just um, letting you see what's gone wrong with this one uh, we'll have a look together I don't have too much to do with the BMWs but I don't think they have a problematic engine I mean let me know in the comments some of you probably know these BMW BMW engines uh, a lot better than me um, first time we've ever really kind of stripped one I think but it'll be interesting to see what's gone on so I've, I've got the timing chain off already engine's timed up one of the turbos is removed um, twin turbo so the second one's just kind of unbolted hopefully I can get away with leaving that there head bolts are underneath the camshafts so we'll whip the camshafts out so we've got to be a bit careful with these cams obviously we don't want to whip the bolts out straight away just half a turn at each we want these to come out nice and level so we don't uh, bend the camshafts and then we'll get to the head bolts and I think we're about ready to lift off so I'll get you on the stand, we'll get you set up and we'll whip this cylinder head off. cylinder head off already I can see we've got an issue with the gasket just show you so you can see there where it's been blowing if you look underneath that top layer you can just see where the gasket is cracked so that is just split there Side. We've got quite a bit of damage on the piston itself. Looks like something's been in there. I don't know if you can see. And the edge of the piston. And pick it up.
see the little marks in there and around. See all the bit of damage around the piston ring. So I don't know if that's a bit of gasket got in there maybe and it's just been Yeah, the metal gasket's probably blown in there. Yeah, we'll have a look at the cylinder head. So, like I say, you can see where it's very dark between cylinders two and three. This bit's been blowing. And then it's got some little, I can get that light and stay on there. Probably have to hold it. Do you see all the little marks? Looks like it's got a bit of a crack. We're going near the valve. Let's get a bit dishy. See, so we've got a bit of a crack. Around that intake valve over there. And the swing's been inside the chamber by the looks of it. Yeah, just a bit concerned. What's been in there? Made a bit of a mess on the heads. The gasket is totally blown. Like I said, I don't know if the vehicle was using coolant when the head gasket went, that's why it's just full of. Uh, water. The customer's not said anything about that, but there's no antifreeze in there whatsoever. So I'll just whip this gasket off. Just see where it's blown through there. Just between two and three. What I do in the week is I'll just get a straight edge and we'll just check that block, obviously make sure that that's not warped when it's got hot and blew the gasket. And then looking at the cylinder head, it's definitely going to need a skim. And then we'll get that pressure, pressure tested. I'm not too sure about the damage around that valve, it doesn't look great, so we'll get that checked at the machine shop and see what they think. But that's it for this video. Like I say, something a little bit different, uh, just diagnosing, see exactly what's gone wrong. Um, like I say, we could have just whipped the cylinder head off, found the gas getting blown, but if we whipped it off, couldn't see anything, at least we know what to look out for. So before we do any in-depth engine stripping, just do all the tests possible, see exactly what's happening, uh, where to look out when we've got it all in bits. So I'll get the cylinder head checked. So yeah, I'm a bit concerned about that damage around the valve. Like I say, I don't know if the gasket's got, it, got in there and blown, up, blown around a bit. So. 
We'll take it to the machine shop. We'll see see what they think. Uh, we'll measure the block in the meantime, make sure that that's not warped, and then uh, we'll go from there with it. But yeah, let me know if you've had any issues with these engines. Like I said, I don't know if the coolant's been low and they've just been topping up with water, or like I say, whether the head gasket's gone and they've just been topping it up. I don't know. Customer's not really said too much, so we'll speak with the customer this week, find out exactly what's been going on, and then uh, let them know what we found. But I hope you found this video a bit helpful, uh, something a little bit different, and we've got some more videos coming this week. So subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one.